Nina, Nina Simone, she said, there's something about, I can't remember how she phrased it, but she said something about, she walks away from the table when love is no longer being served. Realize when love is no longer being served in your friendships. Realize when you begin to get the cold shoulder. Dump the friendship before it gets this bad. Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sama. So in this video, I want to share the story of uh, Shaquilla uh, Robinson, right? Like I always say, I typically make video when I see, oh, there's actually a message in it. There's something important we can grab from it. Even a lot of us may feel like, okay, we're already grown and we, we're not at that level in life, you know. But at least a lot of us have children that are still like uh, in their early 20s or even younger that are still at that point in their lives where they're trying to find out who a friend is. This is a video that I believe that the message in it is so important, especially in this day and age. Before I came across uh, Shanquilla uh, Robinson's story, the day before, I saw something else on Facebook and it was still around friends. You know, I've told you guys, those people come out and say, the Lord told me, you know, and they act like they sat and they had a cup of tea with God or whatever. I don't say that. But when I come across the same kind of topic twice, within a few days, I feel like there's someone telling me, for those of us that believe in God, you know, I believe that it has to be God saying to me, okay, use your platform and address this topic. You know, this young lady, Shaquilla, uh, unfortunately, you know, I believe she did not know when friendship was over. She did not know it. And it can happen to anyone. To you watching me, it can happen to me, it can happen to you, it can happen to any one of us. So this young lady with a group of friends, I think there were six or seven of them, I, I'm not really sure. They said they were going on holidays to uh, uh, Mexico. But from the way it's looking now, it seems that it was a holiday planned to go end her life. But she didn't know it. Right? I came across the video and uh, I can't share it here. It's a bit. I couldn't even watch the rest of it. This girl went on holidays with her friends. And the next thing, the mother said, and one of the friends rang her and said that uh, Shaquilla wasn't feeling too well. And she asked her what was wrong well, with her daughter. And she said, oh, she had uh, alcohol poisoning or whatever. They didn't want to tell the mother the truth. It was later on, about 24 hours later, the mother found out that her child was gone. Apparently what happened, I came across the video, I couldn't watch it and I can't share it here, but I'll give you guys an idea of what happened in this uh, like a, a hotel or accommodation where they were staying that uh, Shanquilla apparently was in the shower. You see, they blurred some parts so you couldn't see it very well. They came at her when she wasn't even expecting it. And uh, well, in that particular video, there's this male voice that was recording it and this other uh, female that was hitting her and she didn't hit her back once. Let me tell you guys. It is her today, it can be anybody tomorrow. The message I want to bring out at the end of this video is recognizing when your friendship is over. Some of us are holding on to friendships that are already dead. We're holding on to friendships that have stopped existing since, but we did not know it. Or we knew it, but we're just managing it. It's not worth it. And this, her so-called friend, was hitting her from all angles. She didn't hit back. There was at a point where she landed on the ground and this lady continued. Eventually, the autopsy found out that she died from a broken neck and a broken spine. A lot of bruises all over her body. She never lifted her fingers once. It's going to make me emotional. She never fought back once. Because when you were hitting someone and they didn't even pick their hands up to hit you once. What anger is that in you that enables you to keep going at someone that didn't even bother to hit you back once? And this other guy was recording and he was saying to her, oh, at least fight back. He was saying to Shanquilla. And he's even saying it in a laughing way. And she said, no. She chose not to fight back. You know, some of these kind of people, they pick their victims perfectly. I bet you they picked her because, you know, they know she's not the type that can fight back. You know, the video, you guys can go find it and watch it somewhere else. I can't put it on my platform. No, the mother that was told that, oh, your daughter, you know, um, was due to alcohol. At the end of the day, the autopsy showed the mother that her daughter's life ended in the hands of her so-called friends. Like, you worry for your children and be like, okay, don't do this. But, oh, but they are with your friends. They are safe. To realize that 
your daughter was with her friends. But she was so unsafe because they were not really friends. They were her enemies. And that is how her life ended. You know why I'm saying that? I feel like there's something saying in me, share this message. The day before I got to find out about Tad Shankula, you know, I came across a video on Facebook, which I actually shared it as well on Facebook. And this lady basically explained how growing up she was shy and reserved. And then as she got older, she became more confident and she was making more friends. Her social life improved and all of that. And she had this friend that she grew up with that somehow she didn't realize that her friend was not happy to see her new, you know, self and her confidence and how she's making friends and how her life was going. She didn't realize it. And then she said one day she just closed from work and, you know, she was, they were already grown and they were like maybe in their early 20s or something like that. And she just closed from work and she was just going home. The next thing she said she saw was something poured on her face. She said it was burning so bad. She ran home and everybody was trying to pour cold water and everything on her. Ended up in hospital and there happens to be that somebody poured acid on her face. Right? And at this point, the police are investigating, trying to find out what, who did this, why, and all of that. And eventually, they found out that her friend is the one that did it. She was covered all the way, so they couldn't tell who did it. But somehow the bag she was carrying was how they were able to tell who she was. And do you know the interesting part? That this lady that her face was burnt, after she came back from hospital, uh, they threw a birthday party for her or whatever, and a lot of friends, they came. And this friend that did it came there too, and she was crying. By that time, the police had not found out she was the one. Maybe that was even when they noticed that bag. It's possible. But... She came there to act like she was here to sympathize. And people didn't know she was the one that did it. Let me tell you guys, when you see signs in a friendship, signs of jealousy, signs of unnecessary competition, let me tell you, there are some healthy competitions. You know, my friend is doing well academically. I want to do well too. I want to study so that we can have good grades. But that's healthy. When I call it, it's not even competition. Maybe I call it competition, but it's like to use your friend to motivate yourself. Those are good ones. But where it is a jealousy kind of competition, run. Sometimes the signs are there, but we ignore it. We'll be like, oh, that can never happen to me. Oh, that happened to Shanquilla. You know, that's her. It will not happen to me. Oh, that happened all the way. Shanquilla is in America. Those kind of things happen in America. The other one I'm talking about happened in the UK. There are some friendships that are already gone. We are holding on to them for nothing. I want to speak about some signs to know when a friendship should be cut loose or give them a long arm, if that makes sense. Like, keep them away from you. It's when you see too much competition. If you get something new, you see that it makes them sad. Or they always want to have something because you have it. Or those that would, there's some more times, they will talk down on you. Oh, you'll be like, oh, look at this in my new earring. You'll be like, oh, oh, that's cheap. Those are signs of jealousy. Oh, I wouldn't wear that. It doesn't matter if they can wear that, but you're wearing it and you love it, but they always play it down. Oh, you're wearing a new dress. Oh, I look at this dress I just got. I, I got it from a secondhand shop. Oh, yeah. You're wearing secondhand clothes. Those are some signs. Another sign that I want people to notice. You see, here, yeah, when people show you the signs, don't ignore them. Sometimes there are some people you call friends, but before you know it, you know, they begin to cut you off in circles. You know, your normal group circles. Those are signs. It even happens to grown women. And grown men, when they begin to cut you off like that, help them and cut yourself off even better. When people, someone, for example, that you thought used to be your friend, and you hear that they had a birthday party, invited some friends, but they didn't invite you. <laughs> My dear, you have to question, are you still friends? I'm just being honest. Or they, some things may happen in their lives, and they won't tell you. Or they're getting married. They're having a wedding. How can someone be your friend? And they are, let me tell you, like that is one of the biggest one, ones, right? If you friend, someone you call a friend is getting married and is, you're not invited. And when I say you're not invited, it's not like, okay, they decided to invite only their family members. If they invited other friends and they did not invite you, that is a sign. Say that sign and wrong with it. Nina, Nina Simone, she said, there's something about, I can't remember how she phrased it, but she said something about, she walks away from the table when love is no longer being served. Realize when love is no longer being served in your friendships. Realize when you begin to get the cold shoulder. Dump the friendship before it gets this bad. 
You may feel like, oh, I, I don't want to lose this friend. What am I going to do? Learn to love yourself and be your own friend. Learn to begin to love your own company. I'm not saying friendship is a bad thing. But if you find yourself in a situation where a group of friends have cut you off and they were the only friends you have, please learn to enjoy your own company. Let me say this, right? If you cannot enjoy your own company, how do you expect somebody else to enjoy your company? Learn to know to find yourself and choose where you want to be. But make sure you are choosing to be where you are welcomed. See the signs and run in time so that you will not be another Shanquilla tomorrow or this other lady who I've forgotten her name now that uh, her friend poured acid on her face. At the end of the day, the story is out there and it's all over the news, whatever. I always tell you guys, my own is I ask myself, what is there for me to take from the story? Me, is not even today. I have been doing it in my life. When I see signs that whatever, just gently, I cut myself off. I don't even wait to be cut off. I will cut myself off. There's only one life. The, I want friends. I want friends. When they dig ground to put you, they're not going to put some friends. Like, Shanquilla is gone. No friend is going with her in the to the grave. Learn to love your life and value it. Value yourself. If you cannot value your own self, you yes. Is it friends that you expect to value you when you yourself cannot value yourself? And that's basically, you know, the message that I want to pass here. Even for your children, educate them to let them know when some friends begin to behave somehow, teach them to walk away from it. It's not the first time we've heard about stories like this. Unfortunately, it will not be the last time. But I'm hoping that for you sitting down and watching this, that hopefully you have gathered one or two tools that can help you not to be the next person that they will be on the news about friendship that make no sense. It's such a sad story, but like I'm saying, noticing this warning signs is one of the best ways you can avoid being a victim of something like this. So anyways, I came across this story and this is how I feel about it. Um, as always, whatever your opinions are, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.